Hi, I'm Kurt with the Office for Mac Group. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use Word 2008 to quickly create an attractive brochure or newsletter. When I need complete control over a document's layout, say for a brochure that I want to print, I use the new Publishing Layout view. To get started, you need to switch to Publishing Layout view from here on the View menu. If you know how you want your document to look, you can click here and begin typing in the new text box. I'm going to use some text I copied from another document. If you see this symbol, it means that there's more text than can fit in this text box. To see the remaining text, you can either resize the text box or click this button on the side of the text box and drag to create a new linked text box. And the text flows from the first one to the second one. See how both boxes are blue? And when you hover over each one, you can see its position in the link set? Since these text boxes are linked, no matter where you move them or how you resize them, the text will always flow between the two. If you add a picture, say this piece of clip art from the object palette, you can see that the text automatically wraps around the picture to create a more professional look. Of course, you can easily change how the text wraps here on the formatting palette. Now, if you're like me and lack the design skills to make this look much better, I suggest you start with one of these professionally designed publication templates. There are dozens of different styles to choose from, such as newsletters, flyers, and catalogs. Let's go with this brochure. Now you can add your own text and use the formatting palette to format it like you would any other document text. Let's add a brochure title and then change the text size and color to better match this brochure. Let's also add a couple of pictures. Here in the object palette, I have quick access to all my iPhoto libraries. If you don't like how it looks, you can try out some of the quick styles and effects here in the formatting palette. When we switch to Publishing Layout view, you might have noticed that the main toolbar looks different than it does in other Word views. It includes the most appropriate tools for working with a document's layout, such as the Zoom Loop tool to get a closer look, maybe to check the visual alignment of the text with this image, and the Selection tool to select and work with text boxes and pictures. When you get this brochure looking the way you like, you can save it as a template to use as a starting point for other brochures. For the format, you'll need to select Word Template. Make sure that you save it in your My Templates folder and give it any name you like. Now, if you click File and then Project Gallery, here in the My Templates category, you'll find your new template. Click Open, and you're on your way with another brochure. So that's a quick overview of Publishing Layout View. Although you probably won't use this view for simple text documents, if you need control over the layout and the design, or if you just want to use any of the professionally designed templates, it's definitely the way to go. To learn more, visit us at the Office for Mac website.